Hi, this is Preeti from Analytics India Magazine. Welcome back to another episode from our segment, My Journey into Data Science, where we talk to distinguished people working in the field of data science. And today we have with us Vikram Khurana, who is the head of analytics and BI at Delivery. He holds nearly 10 years of experience in analytics. He started his career with consulting Fortune 100 clients in boutique analytics consulting firms like WNS and Fractual. He holds experience in varied domains like retail, CPG, restaurants, banking, insurance, technology and logistics. In this interview, we talk about data science degrees, resumes, interviews, etc. So let's just get right to it. Coming to the first question, what do you work as or what is it that you do? I am head of analytics at Delivery right now. Uh, so uh, nearly about all the analytics that happen at Delivery. I, my team is responsible for it. Uh, we work on different uh, problem statements around cost, efficiency, uh, customer experience, uh, even to do a bit of HR analytics. Nearly about all my uh, career or all my you know job has been in analytics. Looking at the recent trends and the emergence of a number of data science courses and degrees, how important is it for a data science aspirant to have one of these degrees or certificates? You know, uh, degree more than degree. Uh, what is required is our you know uh, in data science is actually three things. Right. First is uh, are you able to structure problems? Right. Right now, what happens is, you know, people talk a uh, lot of interviews which I've taken, you know, even with so-called you know, A, A, A grade degree holders, what happens is, you know, they're not able to structure the problem. They're not able to dwell with the problem more than, you know, uh, it is required. What usually happens is, you know, within two minutes of the conversation, people are solving the problem. Analytics and data science is not actually, you know, it's, it's not... 70% uh, problem solving, it is actually, you know, scoping problems, I would say 60 to 70%. Once you are able to scope the problem, the solution comes naturally and the execution is much simpler. So when you talk about tools and techniques and degrees, that comes in the last 30%, which is actually skill set and uh, execution, which, you know, someone would take six months to do that, someone would take three months to do that, someone has a history of it, maybe pick, may be able to pick, up, pick it up in one month. But uh, problem solving and, uh, you know, dwelling with the problem and scoping out problem is something, you know, it doesn't come with the degree. It comes, you know, with a lot of problem solving, with a lot of, uh, you know, hands on experience. So, yeah. Moving on, data science aspirants often complain that although having the right skills, they find it very hard to land interviews. How should one tackle this? I know that this is one of the challenges, right? Uh, when you have, so, I'll tell you for a particular job, right? Particular uh, opening in my team, I nearly go through uh, nearly about 250 resumes. Right? Okay. And the moment we open that job application in any of the portal, the day one application we get is nearly about 550 to 600. Right? Out of those, 200 get shortlisted at the first stage. Right? That's where your degrees also somewhat makes qualification. But post that, what really matters is what is written on those resumes, right? So when you are applying for the job, right, be very focused in terms of, you know, the problem statement or that job profile. Even a data scientist, if someone is looking for a data scientist, he's looking at for a data scientist towards his business scope. If you have that experience, write it out. If you don't have that experience, please put directional projects which would be applicable in that particular field. If even if you don't have that, put the most strongest part of you in that resume, right? And it has to be somewhat visible. That's where I see the first challenge comes, you know, while shortlisting the resume. When you have to pick like 20 out of 200, you have nearly about, say, a minute or less than a minute to scan through those resumes. So spend time on, you know, your resume building. Uh, so, yeah, so I think that's the first stage of it. I think basic graduation degree or somewhat, you know, your resume, the first five statements of your resume should show some, uh, you know, uh, some proof that you have keen interest in analytics and data science. And it can't be just simple theoretical degrees. It has to be some application. How do you differentiate yourself? 
when you have 200 resumes and if you are, if you all are doing the same projects right which is like top 5 projects on kaggle or top 5 projects on top 5 courses on udemy and coursera that still doesn't put you in that differentiate you know that is not a differentiating factor what have you thought about it what have you implemented what have you done is somewhat will differentiate you from from rest of the region lastly what advice would you give to today's data science aspirants my advice to data science uh, aspirants should be uh, you know as much you are focusing right now on techniques and you know new algorithms which is you know so called fad but when rubber when the rubber hits the ground right uh, the real underlying uh, you know uh, the the bottom line everyone is looking at is how much you know return on investment do i get in terms of recruiting you as a data scientist which means you need to know business problems as much as you need to also know the theoretical concepts on around the solution so think about sensitivities of the business also think about the application of you know your solutions into business and do not always start you know keep on operating in theoretical space thank you so much for being a part of this video with that we come to the end of this video don't forget to subscribe to analytics india magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career see you soon bye